Good afternoon, Mrs. Pompiano. Buona giornata anche a lei, signor Rosen. Ciao. Jew, ain't you? Yes, I'm Jewish. Well, what's it mean to be a Jew, anyhow? You got a lifetime for me to tell you? You people don't believe in Jesus, right? It all depends. I do. What do you think of that? I'm entitled to your opinion. Well, suppose it's my opinion that Jesus is here right now, walking with us. If Jesus were walking with us, He'd say, hello, David, how are you? After all, he was my cousin long before he was yours. So I figured, what good am I? I might as well move to New Brunswick. My son has a nice home, and I won't be lonely. You'll come back for the holidays. How? Oh, I don't drive anymore. And the temple is not two blocks from my son's house. Nice, easy to get a minion. Here. Where are the Jews? Where are the Jews? What happened to this neighborhood? It used to be clean and safe. Now I'm afraid to go out for a newspaper when the sun goes down. Things change. That doesn't mean it won't get better. With the years I have left, I don't have time to wait around. I'll miss you, Moshe. Mama, why don't you sit down? You sit. I'll sit. Why do you always put the spoon up there? I put it where it belongs. But, Mama, it doesn't belong there. <laughs> I've been setting table 49 years. I'm a professional. 49 years the wrong way. Hey, Pop. Hi, Peter, sweetie. Peter, why are you so late? I had a rehearsal, I told you. Coffee cake? Where's the coffee cake? What coffee cake? I told you to stop by and pick up a coffee Ma, cake. Ma, you didn't. I mean, I ask did. Charlie. I What's the matter? You don't Charlie, like a boyfriend? Hi, Grandma. Mm. Come on, Peter. Let's go to Joy Fong's. Uh, we'll pick up some Chinese food. Everybody's hungry. Oh. 
So how's the music business? <laughs> Top craziness. I think I'm gonna get booked in that club I told you about. Oh. Uh, you wanna take the bike? that thing away from him before he kills himself. And Pop, too. Take it. He's 24 years old. I can't control him. <sighs> What'd you do with my Playboy? I put it away. What's the matter? You need inspiration? <laughs> no. I thought we'd look at the cartoons. <laughs> here again with her own sandwich. All she wants is hot water. So give it the times of hard won't hurt to let us sit. Two brows. And a pie, clinical peach, apple, blueberry, cherry. piece of cheesecake. And the same to you. a young boy. What's the matter? Don't you have money? Yeah. I got money. So what? You don't like to pay for your food? The kids got friends, huh? Some friends. Well, they put you up to this, your friends. They tell you don't pay is the way to do things. Call a cop. Pa, let me take him outside, huh? I'll teach him. No. Do as he says, call a cop. A night of jail food, and I'll appreciate what we serve here. Oh, you forgot something, Mrs. Rosen? <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't have any place else to go. It's a lovely day. I wanted to talk to somebody. Sadie around? No, she went to the city for a doctor's appointment. She goes every Tuesday. Oh, I forgot. I ought to be out trying to collect clothes anyway. But don't collect too good, or you'll collect a mugger. Ah, Friedman. Yeah, they're all there. Believe me. You can't live your life worrying. That's why we left the old country. Too much worry. Yeah. 
We have to raise prices. We're not raising prices. We're not making money anymore. So I won't go to Florida this winter. Papa, everything is going up. We have to go along with the times. The times tell me that people have no place to go and unemployment is at a pinnacle. We'll make out. And if we don't? Then we don't. Good night. Good night, Papa. Drive carefully. Hello, Mr. Rosen. Hello, Charlie. Finished for the day? Till the next one. Yeah. Did Florence inside? Naturally. Yeah. And Mr. Rosen, you want I should walk you to your car? What for? Only one of us can drive. You're going in, I'm going home. Thanks anyway. All right. Good night, Mr. Rosen. Girl, man, don't get Rosen. You think you're gonna talk some sense into me, man? Maybe. My car's over there. A Buick? What's so wrong with a Buick? You know what I'm gonna have? A red Corvette. Sports car. That's all right for you single guys, but me, I have a family. Don't talk to me about no family. Paint on a piece of paper and sell it. You'd get a lot more money for it. I don't want money. I want everybody to see my name. When they'll go home, they'll think of me. Peppy of Cropsey Avenue. Okay, Peppy of Cropsey Avenue. I'm David of Brighton Fifth Street. A Picasso, you're not. some of the best herb this town's got to offer. Yeah. And then get it on, Jack, get it on! Oh, yeah. President wants to lower taxes for the poor and raise the rich. Anyone who makes more than $14,000 will pay more. Getting hard to keep a dollar. Thank God we're okay. From your mouth to God's ears. You want a nice piece of food? I got some nice tangerines today. How about a Twinkie instead? Sweets. That's all you ever think of. I'm surprised you got a tooth left in your mouth. Then give me a hug instead. Again. What's the matter? You don't want to dance with your honey? Oh, remember that time we danced at the Eden Rock? And then Jack Jones came right over to our table and he sang to me. So? Why wouldn't he? Beautiful woman like you?
please. I want the police. Yes. Mrs. Lerner, how are you? Fine, thank you. Come in. I can't. I'm late. I just wanted to tell you that today's going to be Stuart's last lesson. Uh, well, if, if it's the money, don't worry about it. I'll trust you. It's not that. We're moving. But such a lovely home you have. I know. I, I don't want to, but this neighborhood. Well, uh, maybe you could drive him over. After all, we can fly to the moon. I'm afraid not. We're moving to Long Island. Well, I have to run. Uh, Mrs. Lerner, uh, I wouldn't want David to know about this. He worries about me too much. I understand. Thank you for all you've done for Stuart. Bye, Mom. You know, when I was in prison, your father was the only one that ever remembered. Yeah? How'd you know? Because every week he sent me a carton of cigarettes. Benny, <laughs> could you show me how to open a lock? <laughs> there ain't been a lock invented I couldn't open. From Yale to Siegel to Box to Combination. The best. So how come you got caught? People. People? People who are on the other side of the lot. <laughs> What's your problem? Well, Charlie lost the key to his jewelry box. Ah. What's in the box that's so important? Engagement ring. Charlie asked me to marry him. <laughs> what did you say? I said yes. Mazel tov. Is that all you had to say to me? No. Did you tell Peter yet? As a grown man, I have a right to my own life. No one is criticizing you, Florence. Will you tell me? How I'm supposed to meet anyone better than Charlie working here. You just tell me that. Hey, Princess. Why do you have all this old furniture? It's not old furniture, Ma. It's antiques. You could have a nice convertible sofa and chrome tables. What do you want with everyone else's leftovers? Ma, why are you here? Just to criticize or what? Charlie got a raise. Things are looking up. He asked me to marry him, Peter. I'm head salesman now. And the prospects for vinyl floors, well, they're unlimited. Peter, you don't have to worry about losing a mother. Yeah, well, don't give me that crap about gaining a father, because I don't need one. You want your mother to be alone? Well, who said anything about being alone? Practically everything I earn goes into a trust for you. And once we're married, it all will. Look, Ma, your money doesn't mean anything to me. Maybe not now. Look, do you love each other? I mean, that's what this is supposed to be about, loving each other. Of course we do. Uh, of course.
Thank God you weren't hurt. So many of our beautiful things they took. We haven't even got a TV set. We have a black and white set in the bedroom we don't use. So what will you do for entertainment? In the bedroom? Who needs entertainment? <laughs> You're lucky. Mine comes home, he can hardly move. I'm grateful that he comes home. Well, it's yours if you want it. I'll ask Friedman. So what are you doing now that there are no more students? Collecting clothes for Israel. What's wrong? Uh, we should go. What for? There's plenty more sunshine. Those kids. You should be more afraid of men in suits than boys in leather jackets. Watergate was a lesson, if you know what I mean. Being robbed is a lesson, too. All right. We go. Excuse me, do you ever talk to strangers? No. Good, neither do I. It's too dangerous. You might meet somebody you like. I doubt that. Uh, which way are you going? The other way. Uh, I'm coming on too strong, huh? Yes. And besides, I'm late for an appointment. People expect artists to be late. I'm not an artist. I'm an art director. Oh, yeah? I'm a musician. Floyd, too. Oh, yeah? Congratulations. So, uh, what are you doing Friday night? <laughs> <laughs> My laundry. Well, you wait till Saturday morning, I'll do it with you. I will. I'm a nice Jewish boy. You make me feel guilty enough, I'll do anything. <laughs> so which way's your appointment? I don't want you to be late. Um... So how did it go today? Fine. Florence tells me business is bad. Just a bad time of the year. David? Yeah? Would you tell me if things were bad? No. I didn't think so. Your job is here and mine is there. Our final story tonight comes to us from Gainsworth, Texas, where truck driver Al Bufeld reports it was 3.30 a.m. when Gainsworth resident Leland Potts flagged him to a stop on Highway 59. It was apparent from the beginning that Potts had tipped a few too many, but Bufeld offered to give him a lift anyway. You have to go home tonight? Yes, I have to go home tonight. Well, uh, what can I do to make you change your mind? <laughs> you can't. You sure? Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Come on. 
fun. All that nice girl crap went out in the 60s. Well, that's not the reason. Well, what is? I like romance. <laughs> right. I play you a song. I even got you a bottle of wine. I... I just think it's more fun if you get to know each other. Let things build a little. <laughs> Believe me, they're building. <laughs> I just like romance. I don't know what else to say. You know what romance is? Romance is me having to act like a schmuck until you feel safe enough to do what you came to do in the first place. Well, I don't see what's so schmucky about getting to know each other. You know, holding hands. Peter. You're right. You ought to go home. What are you standing there for? Just wondering how you got to be so afraid of caring about somebody. Thinking how sad I think it is. Yeah, well, I don't need any of your bubblegum psychology, okay? Okay. Bye. Wait! So, uh, you want to take a walk or what? Can we hold hands, too? <laughs> Charlie, Betty, come on, say cheese. <laughs> I wonder where the hell that son of mine is. It wasn't at your first one. Why should it be expected at your second? Hey, let's get this show on the road, huh? I gotta get back to the store. Where's Eli? Watching the cash register. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, well, <laughs> Well, that was wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Peter, aren't you supposed to be somewhere? Do you promise to love, honor, and obey? I do. Obey. Don't start now. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I now pronounce you man and wife. Put the ring up. Put the ring up. Here we go. <laughs> I'm surprised at you. You knew how much it meant to her. I didn't think about it. I had to work. Uh, you could have taken a day off. We all left the store. Becky came down. Rabinowitz gave him a nice send-off. Just don't hurt her. She only wants the best for you. Pop, what she wants is for me to follow the formula. Go back to school, get a job. Get married, have kids, be successful. She's only trying to give you what she wanted. She doesn't understand how you don't want it. You should pity her more than blame her. All right.
right. I'll call her and apologize. David. You think Flo will be happy this time? Who can say? Your place is very colorful. I like bright colors. I can tell. Seeing the future is my blessing from God. It is my gift to you. Let me see your hand. Mine. You have a wonderful love line. That is true. I am married 49 years to a wonderful man. Let me see your other hand. You smile in your face. But deep down inside, you don't smile. You toss and turn at night. Something is troubling you. What? Your health. You'll have to watch it. It's going bad. Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. All of a sudden, we're everybody? We don't have names? <laughs> Marilyn, this is Pop. Hi. Leo? Hello. Oh, Eli? <laughs> Hi. Oh, Grandma. How's my girl? Grandma, this is Marilyn. How do you do? Oh. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. And, uh, this is Florence. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Peter's mother. I'm very glad to meet you. Peter talks about you a lot. Have you no manners at all, bringing that girl here without telling him? Uh, yeah, Ma, we live together, so don't call her that girl. You live together. And you've never even mentioned her to me. Why should I? What difference would it make? Fine. OK. Live your own life, then. I wash my hands of you. Creatures from outer space. Well, they left. Now go home.
Italians next door have their house up for sale. Maybe they're right. Maybe we should move. Where? This is our home. I'm not afraid. I'm worried about your safety. My safety. We should live and be well. Forget about worrying. What's the worry? We have everything. We have each other. I've studied the lab report on the biopsy. And, uh... I'm a big girl, Sydney. Don't be afraid. I have heard worse. Not this time. I have it. Yeah. Bad. It's not the worst I've seen. But it's bad. We'll start COBOL treatments. Sydney, do me a favor. Don't tell David. Surprised to see you, that's all. So where's your father? In the back. I'll call him. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no. I, uh, I, uh, want to surprise him. To what do I owe this honor? I wanted to tell my husband I love him very much. You could have called? I could have. But then I wouldn't be able to ride in the Buick. <laughs> up early. We've had enough for one day. Tell Florence to go home, take a hot bath. Becky? You all right? 
of course. Do what you have to do. It won't be easy, Rosen, particularly because she doesn't want anybody to know. Can't you operate? It wouldn't do any good. The cells are already in her bloodstream. What about the pain? She rejects the idea of drugs. So fill this prescription, pretend it's yours, and then when the pain comes, maybe she'll take them. David, if anything should ever happen to me, I want you to find yourself one of these nice young girls. I don't want to hear you talk like that. Nothing will happen to you. Oh, I'm glad. But I can't last forever, you know. Ten page. What would I do with something like this? What you used to do with me. Don't I still? You do, but who can feel it like I used to? I'm getting old. Old. You're just beginning to ripen. She has struggled. She has fought. Don't let her suffer. Give her the courage to survive. Take her. But don't let her suffer. I'm not a rich man, Lord. I'll give you whatever I have. I will do what you command. Just don't let her suffer. Seventy-nine years a man, and I would be nothing without my Becky. If you make her better, I'll clean the shoe. I'll sweep the floors like I did when I was first in this country. I'll wash the benches. I'll dust the altar. Just don't hurt my Becky. I was standing on the corner near the trolley stop. This little runt comes over and whistles at me. I think to myself, where does this little pishika get coming over to me? I was bigger than your grandfather in those days. Anyhow, I figured 
he must be brave. Come over to a big girl like me, so so I go to the shul dance with her. Now here it is, forty-nine years later. Um, you're not uh, maybe thinking of getting married, are you? I don't know. We seem to be arguing a lot lately. I never heard you and Pop do that. How long can people argue? We had 26 years before you were even born. But it happened? Like dogs and cats, and why not? People are not the same. And always one or the other must give. I want to close the cafeteria. What? What do you mean you're going to close it? Well, you know, business been bad for some time. I'm ready to retire and spend some time with your mother. Sure, Pop. But what about us? Feel I. Did I do so bad for you? I'm not the president, but didn't I make a good life for you? Yeah, Pa, but, you know. You're not old enough to stand alone? This is the kind of sons I raised. No. No, but you don't make a decision like this before you talk to somebody. What's to ask? You can work. Florence is married now. We can get a job closer to our home. Papa. Are you going to move out of the neighborhood? Why should I? I've been living here for 57 years. I wouldn't know another place to live. When do you want to do this? Right away. No use prolonging it. This is our last week. Give me a couple glasses. What do you mean? What's this? I got it. What? A week at the bottom line, starting the 20th. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mm. proud of you! <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Stern, make me a good offer, and it's yours. It's an old stove. What can I tell you? 200. For a six burner? Don't be a comedian. So it's a six burner. Nobody wants old equipment anymore. Tell you what I'll do. I'll give you 250 and you throw in the toasters. Can't. I sold the toasters already. So, let's talk about the chairs. There they are. 250 in good shape. I'll give you $500. $2 a piece? You're a crook, you know that? Rosen, what can I tell you? I'm doing you a favor. Do somebody else a favor. Give me what they're worth.
surprised it has such a nice smell. What? Oh, it's dope, the smoking. You must be afraid to face another day. Think of what you get. You'll get back. Oh, you've always been a lady, so hold your head up high. Look back at the home where you spent the best years of your life. sent the rest of my family to America. I was proud. America has been good to me. But now, I'm afraid. You know, don't you? Yes. For how long? Long enough. You stay with me. I need your strength. I'll get better. We'll celebrate our 50th anniversary. I promise. your apartment. Uh, Marilyn told me where you were. I decided to drive over. Is anything wrong? Becky's in the hospital. She's very sick. She's dying.
What are you doing here? Why aren't you out earning a living? I bought a deck of cards. I figured we could play gin. I maybe win a couple of bucks off you. Listen to this one. So afraid of a hospital. He may faint any minute. Then they'll take my bed away from me and put him in it. Go on. Come and see me when I come home. Sure we will. Besides, you're interrupting my high. Such wonderful pills they give you here. You wouldn't believe it. Much better than the weeds you smoke. Grandma. First, I cleaned the stove. Then I cleaned the shoe. Now I cleaned the house. I came into this world at home, and I want to leave from home, not from a hospital. All right. If you'll have a registered nurse to give you your injections. No! I want my mind clear. Becky. I know what I'm doing, Sydney. What can I do for you today? Um, I'm having my 50th anniversary. Oh. I want him to get excited. Oh, so this is the lucky guy, huh? That's the lucky guy. And I'm the lucky girl. You go read your paper, sit in the sunshine. Enjoy the boardwalk. I'm going to be right here. He's very jealous of me. Doesn't like to leave my side for a second. <sighs> I should be so lucky. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, 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 just a few little gold sparkles. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I'll make you look gorgeous. <laughs> you know, God made the world in six days. Have you ever wondered what he has been doing ever since? Arranging marriages. <laughs> and thank you for making this one paradise. For the next 50 years. Forever. I am to life. <laughs> It is my pleasure to give this dance to our couple of honor, David and Becky Rosen.
make a wish. Hello? Hello? Yes? Oh, hi. Uh, we're your new neighbors. I'm Grover Bell, and this is my wife. And our phone hasn't been installed yet. Would you mind terribly if we used yours? It's local. Uh, sure, uh, right here. Thank you. My wife died recently. We're setting shiver. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. If there's anything, anything that we could do to help you. Uh, my children come by, I'll manage. No luck, Mr. Bell? It's busy. But thank you anyway. Florence, this is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bell. They bought the Italian's house. This is my daughter, Florence, and her husband, Charlie. Hello? Hello. Uh, hello, hello. How do you do? Hello. Papa? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're very sorry about your mother. Thank you. And the offer still stands. Well, I think we better be going. It's movers. You got to watch them every minute. All right. Bye. All right. So long. Nice spending it. Bye-bye. Bye. Papa, now they're right next door. You have to move. Why? They seem nice enough. But they're black. What, am I blind? I can see. A man is blind if he lets that block his vision. Oh, Papa. Oh. Hare Krishna, brother. Can you spare some change? Erwin. 
Urban Schmeitzer. Baba Luna. Abram Lincoln High School. He used to go with my grandson, Peter. Uh, that's true. But now I'm Baba Luna. So tell me, Baba Luna, what's this? Oh, I've joined the Krishna movement. So what? You don't work. Krishna's my work, spreading the word. You mean you pedal? I spread the word. Listen, it's not so bad to pedal. I did the same thing when I was a young man. Do you ever talk to my grandson, Peter? We've gone in separate ways. Sorry to hear that. May Krishna bless you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, for everyone to sit on these crates. Only the Orthodox and Goyim do that. This is my favorite chair. I've spent most of my best years here. I'm not about to change. Can I get you anything? Maybe a little juice. It's in the kitchen. Okay. I'll find it. So tell me, Belle, this is moving up in the world, coming here? Compared to the slums I came from, this is paradise. Once it was that for me, too. Business is not too good. Business? You call this business? This is killing time waiting for God Almighty to take me away from here. Then where would we all go? We who? You and Friedman's all that's left. But I ain't taking in no newcomers, no blacks, no Puerto Ricans, nobody that I don't know. Maybe you should close up? What, and move to Florida? Who wants a good zitz bath in Florida? They got natural sunshine. They're healthy enough. Then do like me. Retire. Well, 
Look, to me, a man is dead when he stops working. You got room for a freeloader? Why didn't you tell me things were bad? They're not. I mean, I'll probably go on the road in a month or so, and I just figured why fork out a month's rent. What happened to your girlfriend? She just kept hawking at me about getting married. What's this? <laughs> they always tell you to get someone you love a present you want yourself. So I got it for myself, to hell with someone else. <laughs> it's almost like the one you got me when I was a kid. Remember? I remember. Sorry, Pop. I didn't realize. No, no, no. Don't close it. You think I'm a sugar? Maybe I was for a minute. I thought... <laughs> Thank you. 
What's the matter? Oh, you're hungry. Come on. I'll give you some milk. Neither of us should be lonesome. Skippy. There you go. Nice, healthy, raw milk. It's good for you. <sighs> Becky always told me to eat right. But me, I'm too old to change. I like the sweets. about six blocks down. Thank you. Well, Skippy, where do you think he went, huh? Probably the bummers in Miami. He always talked about one day going there. We all talk. No one does. Come on. Let's see if he's home. and God takes away. And we must learn to live with it. I'll tell you some of my innermost secrets, secrets of a wise old man. Not afraid anymore. Aging is a series of losses. And death is a member of the family and survival. That is my career. Papa? Papa, did Florence tell you about this woman from her building? What woman? Well, there's this wonderful woman, uh, a widow, who lives down the hall from us, and we all thought you might like to meet her. What for? So you wouldn't be lonely. You want to fix me up with someone? And that's the general idea. <laughs> 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 don't talk foolish. You don't make love happen. It takes a lifetime. Well, but who said anything about love, Papa? We thought you could meet her, have a nice time. Look, I've been married longer than all of you put together. No one will replace your mother. Pa, 
Uh, nobody said that. We're just saying you got nothing to lose, right? Uh, she has money. You don't have to worry about supporting her. What is this, a conspiracy? I'm not lonesome. Peter is here. Uh, Skippy keeps me company, and I have my trains. I don't need another woman in my life. Pa, nobody says you gotta like her. It'll just pass an evening. It's not so bad. feel very funny. Uh, you want to try a little seltzer? It'll settle your stomach. The fish was too salty. No, no, it isn't that. Uh, the meal was delicious. It's me. It's 57 years since I've been on a date. I never fooled around. Uh, my Becky was everything to me. And you still love her. I don't want to take advantage. Uh, I came because my children wanted me to, and... Don't be sorry. I did it to please my children, too. <laughs> and they meant well. But I'm afraid I'm like you. Nobody can replace my Irving. But who knows? Maybe we could be friends. That would be nice. It's always busy on Fridays. So we won't talk long.
Stay here, Skippy. Stay here. Desecrate God's home, then you desecrate mine. You're on my boardwalk, old man. I warned you about that. I left one country. I'm not about to leave another. Here is where I chose to live, and nobody's gonna make me leave. And this is where you're gonna die. <laughs> 